Hey guys, um, well, I have this PS5 power supply, <laughs> PS5, Jesus, okay, so I've got this PS4 power supply here, uh, for repair, uh, so basically the tower vault just shuts down, so you switch on the console, <coughs> you have standby, but when as soon as you switch on, it just goes dead, so, um, I tested everything, this basically I just want to make a short video, a uh, quick one, how to tell if you this chip is faulty. It is on the well, on the PS4 Fat, uh, on the Slims. Sam has the same chip also, and on other Slims, it's a different one. But testing them all works the same way. So I just want to give you, show you the difference, different points, or well, basically the same points, but yeah. A little bit different. So let's see. Uh, so uh, how to tell that yours is faulty? The easiest way of testing this is by injecting voltage here. You ground your, you put your uh, ground point anywhere on the ground, any ground that you found. Is it this one? This guy here. You move it down here. That's a ground point there. And up here, you just need to touch here. So if you touch there and then you see there is a current drawing there this chip is faulty so we'll touch there and you see we're getting 0 0.39 so if that's a good chip you shouldn't be getting any drawing even though we can hear the click there so um let's do this we will see there so when we do this you can't really see much there but we have a short there so now how am i gonna prove this um let's go to the thermal camera so you see better yes, here we go again so i'm back um yeah so we're on the thermal camera now let me just touch there and you see what i mean by that you see what we're getting okay so let me move this a little bit there okay so we have a perfect match there okay so see so as soon as you get a reading there if you're getting some type of reading there you know the chip is faulty. All you just have to do is just take it out and put another one. This power supply will be fixed. So, same goes here. Okay, this one here will remove everything. So, we're going back to normal mode. So, yeah. So, we come here. Um, on this guy here. So, you find your ground anywhere else. And then you touch over here. You have to touch over there. Yeah, I've removed everything. But, yeah. When it's working, you won't get any current draw. But if you're getting some type of current drawing, you know for sure this chip here is definitely dead so um yeah that's the easiest way of fixing this thing here quickly um should i just replace it to prove that this thing is gonna work <laughs> it will work so that's the video there hopefully it makes your you guys life easier so when you get this no 12 volt thing you can always test it but sometimes for videos IC53 and other things. But if everything looks okay, you can start with that. It will help you out with the travel issue. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one.